Hello and welcome to the Inspiro external update video, May 2021. I am your host and Inspiro Catalyst, Jorian. As always, the series of videos is here for you who's curious about Inspiro and what we do in Inspiro, what we talk about in Inspiro. This is a sort of a mirror version of an internal update video that we have for ourselves. Uh, we just can't show all the information there. so. I create this separate version, it's very similar, <laughs> just so you understand more the practicalities of Inspiro, not the big ideas, but the day-to-day. -day. Uh, and with that, let's go for the biggest things, biggest updates that's uh, happening in the, in the network right now. The first one is that we're about to have an assembly sprint. And assembly sprints are a moment when we make big decisions in a network. Basically, we ask uh, the, our interesting parties to get together in a think tank for a couple of weeks and from that um, big collective decisions, like financial decisions and decisions about big projects and decisions about next steps, uh, those are made generally during the assembly sprints. And I think the, the biggest... Um, uh, um, extra bit here is that you, you can read about assembly sprints in our handbook but we are uh, tweaking assembly sprints a little bit and now instead of just having a moment of intense concentration and everybody's attention we're gonna have two moments of attention and between them two weeks of asynchronous work it's all asynchronous so basically the groups that are making decisions and putting projects forward, they will be invited to use this async work to this async time to produce documents and to draft decisions. And then everybody will have the time to comment and reconvene on the last week to make just the final adjustments to put it for the wider network. So that's exciting. It's always an exciting moment. And I think that uh, this iteration might end up being the sort of um, open source content we share with the world. Cool. Also, and that's, that's a little bit nebulous here because I can't give you all the details, but we've been going through a long process of understanding our roles within our community. Currently, we basically we have two roles. We have contributors and we have members. Members have a little more responsibilities and a little more power. But there, there has been uh, this discussion because Inspire is a, is a thing that's been going on for years, like I think 12 years or something like that. So uh, as time passes, roles that made a lot of sense before maybe doesn't don't make sense anymore. Maybe we need more roles. Maybe the roles need to be renamed. Maybe, I don't know. There's a, there's a lot of possibilities in front of us. Uh, and we're, we're going through this process of understanding what's the next step. And there's a, the mem renovating membership crew who created a game for people to think about this. Uh, as a game designer myself, uh, I was very impressed and, um, and very surprised when I played the game. And it worked rather quickly. And it got me to this place of deep thinking. So I hope that this is also something that uh, when the process is done, when the debrief is done, we can share with the wider world. But it is something exciting that's happening inside our community. All right, so what have we been writing about? What have we been talking about? So Band Bland uh, just uh, put out to the world two big projects, two big ventures that he has. Uh, and I think you're going to find them incredibly useful. They're very Inspire aligned, especially this first one, which is a, a set of tools and patterns for uh, brighter businesses. Um, so if you scroll here, you will see that this is a big toolbox with some names that you might recognize from Inspiral, like CoBudget and Lumio and other names you certainly recognize as well, like a Slack and Telegram. Um, and uh, so Ben did this long work of figuring out and, and compiling all of those incredible tools in one place. And you can, of course, uh, select here what's the category that you want to um, that you want to learn about and uh, you can explore all those incredibly useful tools that maybe your business or your group is needing for organizing or for selling or for budgeting or for w whatever it is <laughs> there's a bunch of options here it's scheduling staffing yeah, there's a lot um, and as a user of many of those tools here I am thinking that uh, 
Ben did a wonderful selection. There's also a playbook, which is a little more streamlined, there's a little more uh, narrative to it, and you can learn more step by step about the different uh, areas that he talks about. So if you don't want to dive straight into the tools, but you want to give a little bit of a um, exploration on the the theory behind and, and the, the parameters, and then you go to the tools with a little more information at hand, there's also that. Uh, and he's going to give a talk about um, uh, Nyoko this May the 11th. And it's an open talk if you want to join him. It's a super exciting project. He's been working for a long time. Uh, <laughs> uh, look, it's 240 tools and 50 published guides and 16 case studies. It's a, it's a huge, huge piece of work. And uh, Ben, so happy that you're launching this. And if you want, also want to follow through, maybe the, the 11th of May is good. It's a great moment to ask questions and uh, hear from the creators. You have a little bit of the passion of the work, not just... Uh, the hard, cold facts and usefulness of it, you know? Cool. He also released Lupus, which is a consultancy that is all about startup thinking. So lean methodologies and agile and theory U and scrum and bringing all of those to help people make uh, decisions. So of course, if you're already immersed in that world, that might not be for you. But if you are in a more established company with all the processes, more waterfall, a sort of a way to organize, and your folks are bumping into troubles. Might be um, a good call for you folks. Now, Rich wrote this article, which is about something that's dear to me, which is um, a facilitation of online meetings. And he made this deep guides on how to create a choreography for your online meetings. And it goes into details of what should be in your planning spreadsheet and how should it be organized and how to introduce different sections of a, a meeting, um, of tips and tricks that people maybe don't think about and how to make sure your breakout rooms don't screw up. Uh, it's, very, it's very detailed um and uh very useful i vouch for it i i read it and i learned many things and he also posted this long podcast that is a very vulnerable conversation about many things like uh, how trauma drives uh, our behaviors his behaviors but our behaviors as a whole and also how inspiro has this promise and tries to be what it is, but also there, there are power dynamics and, and there are some nasty dynamics inside Inspiro. So if you're interested in a more deep conversation, the less, uh, less of this tool energy that I was bringing, but more of like sitting down and absorbing real emotions, uh, that's a good call for you. And I am oh so so pleased to share this. Uh, Melina, uh, Katie, and Stephanie shared this um, humanizing the virtual space guide, uh, which is you see it's in form of a presentation all here, but it kind of feels like a booklet to me because it's forty three pages long and so look at this so beautifully uh, arranged the, the information so clear and it provokes exer exercises here the provocation number one is an exercise for you to think about um, it's just so beautifully organized and uh, yeah I, I think this is a, a lovely project uh, from from our people and I think you should check it out for sure. It's just so beautiful, so well um, executed. I'm very impressed. And for our moment of Zen, that today is not really Zen, uh, <laughs> I think a, a sub theme of this video here today is just to show you that A, Inspire is not perfect. Yes, we are a little bit of a, a, an example for a lot of people. We, we have this fame around us. And honestly, as a, a deep participant, as a person who spends a lot of hours in Inspira every week, I see why. We do some cool stuff, and we do stuff that I, I haven't seen anybody else doing, but we are fallible, we, we screw up, we do things wrong, we have horrible meetings, and some of our decisions are a bit clunky, like everybody else. So, uh, Haley shared this in our Slack the other day, um, which is a lovely, lovely meme, and it was 
immediately beloved by the wider community. Just just so you know, there is no such thing as a perfect community, but everybody should try their best nonetheless. <laughs> and with that, folks, I leave you for today. Thanks for your attention, and I'll be back next month. Ciao, ciao!